Vanderpump Rules star Tom Schwartz is getting backlash for a disastrous Watch What Happens live appearance, where he asked fans to give Tom Sandoval a hug. Schwartz is the only cast member to stand by his best friend after the Scandaval affair with Raquel Levis. He knew Sandoval cheated on longtime girlfriend Ariana Maddox before the rest of the cast, and it's assumed Schwartz's own dalliance with Raquel was an act to cover this up. In a clip posted to the WWHL Twitter, Schwartz reiterated his unwavering support for Sandoval, and pleaded with fans to give him a hug if they see him, as he's down bad. Fans in the replies roundly refused this request. Give him a hug? Come on Schwartz read the room. Read one of the many angry and disgusted responses. Others claimed Sandoval's only down bad because he's upset fans hate him, not because he feels any remorse. Schwartz was slammed for always being kind to Sandoval but never having empathy for ex-wife Katie Maloney. Katie herself joined in, tweeting, You're the only one who wants to hug him dude. BPR's Katie Maloney says Tom Schwartz needs media training Katie, via the Pump Rules Instagram account, reacted to her ex-husband's baffling comments on Instagram, telling him, two words. Media training. She also compared his kiss with Raquel in the episode to a creepy uncle. The 36-year-old later reacted to Schwartz repeatedly calling her a monster on the after show, which both Andy and John Owen both chided him for. Katie tweeted that she heard it from him many times before, and wasn't shocked by his WWHL behavior. At one point, Schwartz scolded people for threatening to pour beer on Sandoval's head despite him doing that to Katie in season 2. Schwartz's lack of media training was apparent from the jump. He told Andy he's known about Sandoval and Raquel's affair since August, then backtracked, claiming the two had a one-night stand that month, carried on an emotional affair, and then were in love in January. The 40-year-old tried defending his silence, saying he thought Sandoval and Ariana broke up. This excuse didn't hold water, especially when Schwartz said rumored girlfriend Joe had to sneak in Raquel to a January Big Bear trip. He called the pageant queen Sandoval's heroine, and said things won't last because they're toxic. The Vanderpump Rules Season 10 episode preceding WWHL took place at Sheena Shea and Brock Davies' wedding in late August. If Schwartz already knew about Sandoval and Raquel, it makes his actions much worse. When he kissed Raquel at the end of the episode, they both claimed it was set off by Katie. Before that, he made his ex-wife cry as she sadly admitted in a confessional that he didn't like her. Instead of apologizing, he later asked her to trim his armpit hair. This was one of many moments he was blissfully unaware and unsympathetic to others' feelings. Even amidst the scandal, Tom Schwartz is the ultimate villain, and Katie is obviously relieved to be free of him. Source. Watch What Happens Live, Twitter, Katie Maloney, Twitter, Pump Rules, Instagram. Yeah.